Okay, this is Claude Diamond here with part three on <clears throat> my mentor, Max. Fascinating individual, greatest salesperson I've ever met in my life. Someone who could talk to total strangers and influence them in such a way, make them come to their own natural conclusion. Um, he didn't know it, but what he was doing was a form of indirect hypnosis or conversational hypnosis. It wasn't you know, having a watch uh, uh, waving in front of somebody and turning into a chicken, nothing like that. It was basically though, putting suggestions in people's heads. And he'd do this very conversationally. Uh, most people, I didn't know, and I was there, I would see him sell, and I didn't know how he was doing it, but he was doing it. He was getting contracts, he was getting commitments, he was getting appointments, or, he got enough information to make a decision that this was someone he was not going to do business with. They didn't have the need, uh, wasn't emotional enough. They didn't have the money, uh, even if they wanted the need. They didn't have the authority to make a commitment. Uh, the timing was wrong. All the things we do to qualify. He'd do this in a very simple conversation. I give all my students, if you've seen my videos before, I give all my students a little three-minute timer. Okay, and we make a lot of fun and have jokes with this, but literally in less than three minutes. Max could get an idea, an inkling of whether or not this was a true prospect, somebody he could do business with today. You know, everybody has 24 hours in a day, but he would, what's the, why do some people make so much money? Because they use their time better. We call it time management and we give all these cute little words and things to it. But really, what is time management? It is spending your time with a high probable prospect. Somebody you know has a need and has the money or the inclination and everything else to, um, to facilitate, to want to do that need. And Max could find that out in literally seconds, literally less than three minutes. I've seen, I saw it happen all the time. Um, he would start a conversation, and here's your meet and here's your takeaway point in this conversation. I'm just trying to give you an idea of different kind of selling, not that nervous, scripted, garbage selling. You're uncomfortable. They're cro the prospect is cross-examining you and then dismissing you or talking down to you like you're subservient to them, like you're a third-class citizen. That's not selling. That selling is about feeling wonderful about yourself. I'll talk about that in another episode. But what Max would do is he'd open up and say, why are we talking today? Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, what's your biggest challenge? Um, uh, um, uh, what do you want to see happen? Uh, why did you come to me? Why are we talking today? And he'd ask these questions and get them talking. And he'd He'd listen acutely. He would take notes. This is why, I don't know if I ever shared this with you. I always have a notebook and pen, real simple, old school stuff. I always take notes and I listen for the key points, the motivational, the pain, the joy, the agony, the ecstasy points. These are the emotional triggers that if I listen carefully and I hear that they want to make more money, they want to sell a house, sell a car, they want to buy insurance, whatever it is. And what is the joy or the emotional quotient involved with that. I know I'm sounding like I'm psycho babbling a little here, but this is really important stuff. Okay. There's a reason for this because it'll get you to the bank. It'll make sales so much fun. It'll get you to where you want. So we'd open up the conversation with these simple questions and he'd get the prospect relaxed. He'd get them conversational. He had this wonderful, what do the French call it? The je ne sais quoi, this finesse, this, um, he, he, he just made this such a, he was able to control the environment with the prospect and get them to like and trust him instantly. And this is the skill you've got to work on, learning to ask the right questions. He'd use redirection. Um, that's a form of a reverse psychology. I don't know, if he was talking to someone in real estate, say, why don't you just, Hire a lawyer, hire a real estate agent. Why are we talking today? What would you, if, if you found a solution to your problem, you wouldn't take action today, would you? This is the way he spoke to people. And then he'd paint a picture in their mind. I'll talk about that in the next episode of the Max Chronicles here. Bye-bye.